I feel like as soon as some of us saw a pro-Trump mob storm the Capitol, we already kind of expected what the right wing would say because they have to maintain this facade that it's only the left who riots and gets violent. It's never right wingers. In fact, you can go back and see a lot of tweets from Charlie Kirk and Tommy Loren where they talk about how, you know, if Trump supporters uh, see that Donald Trump lost this election, they're just going to resume their daily life. They're not going to riot as, you know, the radical left does. But of course, right wingers, they uh, they they rioted. Not only that, they literally tried to stage a coup. They committed an act of insurrection. And these are the folks who are supposed to be patriotic. Uh, nonetheless, I, I think it's obvious. Like, if you're a reasonable human being, who you blame for this? You blame the individuals like Donald Trump, Ted Cruz, who used the incendiary language that got people to believe that the election was stolen. So the only way to save democracy was to storm the Capitol. You blame those folks. Uh, but if you're a disingenuous hack, uh, you want to know who you blame? You blame Antifa, because of course you do. We all knew this was coming. We knew that they would, uh, you know, say this was maybe a false flag or imply that this wasn't actually Trump supporters because Trump supporters would never do something like this. Take a look at an elected member of Congress, Matt Gates from Florida, say that there is compelling evidence that it was Antifa who was part of this crowd, who stormed the Capitol at the behest of Donald Trump. Some pretty compelling evidence from a facial recognition company showing that some of the people who breached the Capitol today were not Trump supporters. They were masquerading as Trump supporters and, in fact, were members of the violent terrorist group Antifa. Now, we should seek to build America up, not tear her down and destroy her. And I am sure glad that at least for one day, I didn't hear my Democrat colleagues calling to defund the police. I can't imagine what it's like to be that fucking stupid. How many times a day does he almost die from forgetting to breathe? How many times in his life has he tied his own shoelaces together? I mean, this is fucking pants on head. Stupid. There's compelling evidence that some of the people were not Trump supporters. They were masquerading around as Trump supporters. And the evidence from this is one facial recognition company. Um, except, hey, dumbass, none of the people there were wearing masks. And Antifa always wears masks. Like I heard, I think it was Ethan Klein of H3 make this point, and it's a really great point, um, that, you know, of all the times for Trump supporters to uh, not want to wear masks, you'd think that when they storm the Capitol and commit felonies, that would be the one time maybe they make an exception. Uh, but no, they still refuse to wear masks because that to them represents tyranny. But in what universe is it reasonable to think that Antifa was part of this crowd? Like, I don't, I don't really know. Like, does he think that like 10% of them were Antifa and they were just there to kind of like antagonize and rile everyone up? All you have to do is look to the social media accounts. Look at Parler as much as that will rot your brain. But there are screenshots of posts where they've been planning this now for a week or so. They actually have merch that says American Civil War, January 6th. They were planning this. And so you think this is Antifa? Like, there's no way he believes this. He's just saying that because that's what you do. You know, if you're unsure who to blame in any situation, it doesn't matter what the facts bear out. It doesn't matter what the, you know, uh, the context and conditions are. You just blame Antifa. That's what you do. You, it, it's that meme, you know, you throw a stick in uh, the wheel of your bike, and then you fall over, and then you blame Antifa for it. it. It's just, it's fucking incredible. Like, this is a member of Congress, and he is that stupid. And he, if he's not stupid, uh, then he's disingenuous. I don't know what it is. It's either dumb or disingenuity, but it's a distinction without a difference. For him to say this on the House floor is, is shocking. And he then goes on to, like, own the libs by saying, oh, well, I'm really glad that my colleagues now don't want to defund the police. Ho, ho, ho. As if, like, the entire Democratic Party is talking about defunding the police. There's, like, what, five people, members of the squad, who support defunding the police explicitly? And you say this as if that's an own when we saw Capitol Police basically open the gates for Trump supporters to storm the Capitol. I mean, look at this tweet. This says it all. Uh, you telling me this tactical genius overpowered the officers protecting the Capitol? Exactly. So uh, if ever there was a time to defund the police, it's when we learned that they're complicit with an insurrection, when they take selfies with terrorists, when they open the gates and allow them to storm the Capitol, the very building that they are paid to protect. Yeah, I'd say defending the police is a pretty damn good idea. 
It's just, I don't, I don't, I don't know what to say. Like, I'm at a loss for words. The Republican Party is so idiotic. Like, we have the Democratic Party, which needs so many reforms to even be remotely representative of its constituents. But you have the Republican Party, who's just out of this world. Like, they're in a parallel universe, out of this dimension, off their fucking rockers. They are insane. And I don't know how any conservative can support this party any longer like this is no longer the party of you know uh less taxes which they were never about that they were about less taxes for corporations but this isn't the party of like gun rights and uh, abortion rights this is a party that denies objective empirical reality they're delusional so how can you support this how do you not sign up to be a libertarian or independent? How can you support this party? The fact that so many Americans support this party, even if they're still a minority party, it's too many. Like, one American is too many to support the Republican Party. They're just, they're insane. I don't know how else to put it. They're insane. And anyone who doesn't see that must be insane as well. So, uh, yeah, Matt Gates blaming Antifa for the pro-Trump insurrection because we all know how much Antifa loves Donald Trump. I'm, I'm sure that the implication was... Uh, they're trying to make Donald Trump supporters look bad as if they don't do that on their own. But he's he's blaming Antifa because, uh, you know, when all else fails, you blame Antifa. That's the most persuasive line to these idiots. Subscribe if you like this video, folks. Mike's tremendous and he's doing a really, really good job. Many people are telling me about how wonderful the Humanist Report is. Bigly.